In Jeddah, the session 32 of the Arab Summit of Renewal and Change started with the participation of leaders of Arab countries and heads of delegations. This report has more details. The 32nd session of the Arab Summit of Renewal and Change kicked off in Jeddah with the participation of leaders and presidents of Arab countries and most prominently President Rashid al-Alimi. The Jeddah Summit aims to enhance consultation and coordination among Arab countries regarding efforts to maintain the security and stability of the region and promote Arab interests, especially in light of the successive changes and escalating crises at the international and regional levels. The 32nd session of the Arab Summit is being held in exceptional circumstances that the region and the world are going through, in terms of regional and international crises and conflicts, which necessitate the Arab countries to find mechanisms through which they can face common challenges, enhance regional security and stability, and achieve well-being for their countries and peoples, which necessitates the development of political coordination mechanisms under an inclusive umbrella, and strengthening economic and social cooperation to advance development in various fields that directly affect the Arab citizen. Away from politics, the problem of food security that some countries in the region suffer from, especially with the continuation of the Russian-Ukrainian war and its global economic repercussions that cast a shadow on the Arab world, especially with regard to grain and wheat supplies and high energy prices, as well as the problem of water security for both Egypt and Yemen. These files place the responsibility of the Arab summit on finding mechanisms through which it can face common challenges and support regional security and stability in a way that achieves well-being for its countries and people, as well as developing political coordination mechanisms under the umbrella of the League and strengthening economic cooperation to advance development in various fields that directly affect the Arab citizen.